Sorry about that. I had to stop that video. Something came up. Uh, so now this is part two of the Transformer haul. And this is a really, 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 really nice uh, redo of uh, Cliff Jumper. I'm hoping that they make this into a deluxe class as well. It would be cool. And last but not least it is another uh, repaint. This is the Autobot version of the Decepticon. This is Fallback. I can't remember the Decepticon's name. Sorry. Uh, I, I get so many of these all the time. And because Fallback was... Uh, in the uh, Reveal the Shield line, Deluxe Class, a different car, but that's what it looks like. The other one's a Decepticon. It's the same thing, but it's blue. It's quite articulate, too. It might even talk about the other guy on the back of this card here. <sighs> Maybe not. No. Nope. Okay, so that's that. Then, for all you uh, Creo fans out there, I was not one until just recently. I did a video review for Mirage, but here's some of the other ones that I picked up in the last couple of months. Here is the Bumblebee Creo smaller set with it's just Bumblebee. There's no Creos or Creons as they call them with it. It's about 75 pieces. It's cute. I I will probably keep this one in the robot mode because it. It's very G1-ish looking in the robot mode. I'll probably do the... Uh, yeah, I'll probably live in the robot mode. So it's a cool piece. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people are not keen on these because they don't actually transform. Which, I guess, does kind of suck in the sense that with all the kind of different toys that they have now, you would think they'd be able to figure out a way to make these things transform, even though they're in the Lego type format. But, you know, it's still a cool thing. I like it. I mean, I'm just the Transformers nut, so I like all that stuff. I also picked up uh, this uh, little Optimus Prime. Uh, this is, this, again, the small one. I don't have the big one. It's really expensive, and I'm trying to wait for it to go on clearance. But, very cool. Peter Cullen approved, I'm sure. <laughs> Very cool. And some stuff about Creos there. And then now this one, this one is really, really cool. Because this was my very first Transformer as a kid. And it's none other than Sideswipe. Now, of course, his Creon looks very G1-ish. But this is i'm not really sure what they're trying to do here he looks more like ironhide for whatever reason here uh in the car well the car doesn't look anything like the g1 either but it is a cool piece nonetheless and let's see there he is in his g1 form which is my favorite version of him there's some other robots in the line there and Prowl, I haven't found him. He's been a little on the difficult side to find, but looks like a nice set. I'll do a review on this one for sure. And then uh, putting that off to the side, and I picked up this uh, larger Bumblebee set. And he comes with three Creons, including Red Alert, which is kind of like the twin to Sideswipe. There's Bumblebee looking G1-ish there. And this is kind of a concoction of... This has got like a G1 head with the body and car style of the movie line with a little bit of the Transformers Prime cartoon thrown in, I guess. It's the best way to describe it. Um, I probably will build this in the car mode just because it'd be cool to stick... The little character that's supposed to be Spike, I think. Or maybe, in this case, uh, Shia LaBeouf or Sam or whatever. There's uh, some more in the line. There's that Megatron. I'm trying to hunt that sucker down. 
That's a cool set. Now the best set that I picked up. Probably the coolest and the most the most G1-ish of any of these is the Starscream set. And boy, this is a big set. Starscream really, really looks cool. Especially in the vehicle mode. In the plane mode. I mean, that really looks uh, totally G1-ish. And he comes with kind of this evil-looking pilot guy. Dr. Arkaville, probably in disguise. Who knows? And then the little Starscream, a little mini version of him. Uh, this is just an awesome set. And uh, see, there's the big Optimus Prime on the back. Really, really tickled to get this. Got this for a super great price. I was just <laughs> tickled to find this. This is just really cool. So that ends the Transformers that I've picked up in the last couple of uh, months. I do have some Star Wars figures, which I know I haven't done any reviews on Star Wars yet. Um, I plan on doing them soon. It's just been a little confusing. Um, let's see, what do I, I want to throw anything else in this review? Um, let's see. I did get some Power Rangers. Um, I got the Mega Ranger, which is one of the female Rangers. Uh, Earth something. Now, I've never had any of these little guys before, at least from the newer saga. I've got some little guys from the 90s. It shows all the different ones on the back here. So I picked that up. Pretty cool. It's pretty inexpensive. Uh, then I picked up this uh, this one here. This is the uh, Power Rangers Samurai, and this is a morphing one. You can have him with the mask head, or and I bought two of them for this this, this reason only. And you can have him with this head. Pretty cool, and in, in the review that I do on him, I'll show you how to, the little trick, the little gimmick that he comes with. He's got some cool accessories, he's got a great big sword and some pocket stuff here. And I also picked up, as far as Power Rangers go, I picked up this disc cycle thing. I'm really big into the motorcycles with the, the superheroes on the motorcycles. Really cool. And apparently it's a builder apparently the it, you know this is a part of a megazoid so if you uh get all the different pieces or buy all the different little vehicle things it they can turn this into the megazoid so i'm gonna be trying to hunt down the uh the rest of these because i think it's cool and what else do i want to throw in on this side? been done with these haul videos in a while. I guess I'll show you the non-Star Wars stuff. I'll do a little DC Marvel here. Pick this up at a place here called Kmart. I've always liked Mr. Freeze. He's kind of cool, especially when Arnold played him in the movie. I didn't like the movie, but I like the fact that Arnold played him. This is like God Trio. This is like little kids Legos kind of, I guess. There's a whole bunch of different things here. There's a penguin, a Batman, a Joker, and there's a Superman in that Supermobile. But this this one, this uh, Mr. Freeze, really, I don't know, it's really cool. I liked it, so I picked that up. And then I don't know if anybody is familiar with these or not. This is a this is a line of toys. These are actually really cool. They're called the uh, Squats, basically. And what they are is, you, it's one figure, like the Joker comes in here, a little tiny, small figure. I think the head moves, and you can change heads on them. Then you get a mystery figure, and you they dissolve in, like, water, and, they, and then it reveals who the figure is. Pretty cool set. I have the uh, Batman, and then I have the Gorilla Grodd came with the Batman, but this is the... Second set I picked up, the Joker's one of my favorites. Matter of fact, he is my favorite DC character. So, 
Then let's see what else did I get in the way of superheroes. Ah, yes. All you Marvel fans out there. I just did a review on, on this guy, but I bought two of these because that gear comes off. And that will make Captain America like a black and red costume. And I have a black and red shield that came with another one that's going to look really nice with this guy. And uh, I also picked up some new Avenger toys. I got the Parachute Avengers Captain America Deluxe toy. Now this one is actually better quality than the first one that came out in the Captain America line. He not only has a pistol and a rifle, but he's super articulated. Even his ankles are articulated. So I'm real excited about getting this one out of the package. Now it says here that it's a comic series, yet he's in the movie 1940s outfit. So it's kind of unusual. There's other figures in the line here. I did the Iron Man review not too long ago. I like that one too. Then, last but not least, Marvel. The Talking of Thor. Uh, the uh, Mighty Strike Thor. Apparently he throws his axe, or no, his mallet thing, or whatever you call that, in the air. Very, very cool. Uh, let's see, I think it's still, the battery's still working it. Captain, I would follow you any day. And I'll play more of those sounds when I do the review, but it's actually, I think it's Chris's, Chris, uh, Hensley's voice, I believe. It's pretty cool. And then last but not least in this review, uh, I don't collect these too much, but this is kind of an interesting piece. It's a little Hot Wheels set. I've never seen a Hot Wheels with like bronze gold wheels like that. And it comes with these little like accessories and this little snowmobile. I picked it up for a friend of mine who who collects die casts, so shipping that off. And then uh Angry Birds. I play this game all the time. And you need a new keychain, so I picked up the blue guy. Kind of cool as a keychain. And I picked up the red one as my favorite one. And then this uh, white dude. I'm not sure exactly what happens with him. Anyway, that's, uh, that's it for this review, or toy haul review. I'll be doing a Star Wars one very soon, so stay tuned.